Welcome back to Lake Ridden. Let's explore this creepy house. First thing I want to do is make it less creepy. Let's go light up a bunch of candles. Still a little creepy. Oh, I can open individual drawers. Yes. There's a letter in that one. <laughs> Child's drawing. Oh, those fingers are creepy, though. They look like little spikes. to just take kids from town. <laughs> they belong to someone else. Then how shall I find kids to live in my house, to run around and to cherish? Miss Nellie said that I should find a wife. <laughs> I laugh at that. The only woman I ever loved was Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte. When you moved away, you took a piece of my heart with you. God, they're weird. Can't just take kids from town. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. Like, I'm starting to think, is that what happened to all of these people that went missing? Were they all kids when they went missing? I think maybe. Our sister definitely is. I think the person that disappeared 50 years ago. Uh, the person that, um, the person left their pack to go searching for them. It's 50 years later. They were staying in that cabin investigating other disappearances. I think they were also kids when it happened. Are they somehow being stolen away? to come live in this house, except I don't think there's anybody here, so where are they being stolen away to? like a symbol that matters for something. Do we go upstairs? Toggle light. Oh, we took the light that was, I think, right there. Okay, so now we have a light. It's got that wonderful glow. Now I can take the comfy with me. And yeah, there's another symbol. Ah. I wonder which one goes where. Right? Like this symbol. Where does this symbol go? the same symbol that we saw downstairs? I guess there's no reason they have to be all unique. 
Let me go write down the symbols that I'm finding. Okay, I just wrote them down. I have an idea, by the way, for how they might be ordered. They're all in bookcases, and bookcases have shelves. This one's all the way at the bottom, so what if it's like the one all the way at the bottom is digit, or, I mean, they're not digits, symbol one, symbol two, three, four, five? They would all have to be on different shelves for that to be true. Going with that assumption, let's say that that is one. I'm just writing that down off screen. And this is on the second. And this one is the fifth. I think that is what's going on, actually. That makes sense. So I need to scrutinize every bookcase. Uh-huh. One, two, three, four. So fourth is like a trident. I suppose I don't need to know the last one. There's not very many combinations. I may have just missed it on one of these bookcases, but it might just be a process of elimination for the last one, because that's easy enough. Yeah, let's try it. Alright, so one should be... I have no idea what the symbol's called. I've seen it in math, though. Two should be the circle with the line in it. Three, this that three is the unknown one. Four should be the trident. And five is the circle with the line in it. So that didn't work. Unless... Sometimes they want you to be decisive and make it so it doesn't activate as soon as you get it right. But only like once you leave it to make sure you don't do process of elimination. I don't think that's what's going on here though. I think I just got it wrong. Aha! Uh, the solution was just... I did have it right. I just had it reversed. The one... The symbols at the bottom of the bookshelf start from the right side. So this is one, two, three, four, five, not the other way around. Easy enough. What did, what did that do? <laughs> what did that do? Heard a contraption move. Has a door unlocked or something? I was expecting the bookcase to open. Oh, that's what happened.
doesn't go anywhere. Although there's kind of like a black splatter on it. Which just got me a little bit worried. Am I going to open a portal there or something? Oh, we got a whole contraption. Let's touch that in a second. This thing, what is this? Well, this is like one of those repeat the right sequence boxes. Well, it looks like that anyway. I don't know if this one works the same. Can I interact with this at all? Doesn't seem like it, not yet. around with this projector thing. I think the problem is there's no slides of any sort. It's just a light right now. Oh. Uh, there we go. Picture disc cylinder. Quite hard to see. It's actually really hard to see, especially up close. It actually gets a little easier when you get further back. It's a grid with letters at the top, A, B, C, D, E. What's on the other side, though? The other side's numbers. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. One square is black under A, B, or uh, one B, B, one. So, like, this must be related to this. Must be, yes. It's even the same orientation. So, the letters are, you can picture them up here. A, B, C, D, E, F. And then the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if the order matters. Does it? I think I just press a certain number and then it's either right or wrong. Four at a time. Ooh, that one is dirty. There's more than four pictures on here, though. So I'm not sure what to make of that. Okay, I'm gonna write these down. Alright, I've got them all written down. It turns out, if you close the door, this gets significantly easier. <laughs> also, each one not only has a location marked, but each picture also has its own symbol in the bottom right corner. So I have all of those marked as well. Uh, of course, for the one that's messed up, Um, this one. We can't actually see the symbol. So we'll see how that plays out. Probably not a big deal. If there's only one missing, it's usually like what we just did with uh, one missing from the previous puzzle. Where it's just not too many choices. Process of elimination. So, how those symbols play into this, I don't know. I think they maybe play into this up here. This symbol in the center definitely was on one of the pictures. Yeah, there's a square. Yeah, I think all the symbols are all here. Kind of just layered on top of each other. But we can't interact with this yet, so I think this is the second phase of the puzzle. For the first one, we gotta do this. It seems to reset after four, so I don't quite understand what I'm supposed to do with my seven or eight numbers. Uh, here, though, I can show you. 
where I wrote them down with pictures of each symbol as well. So, I don't know, let's just start with one of them, the top one that I've written down. B1, so remember, remember the B uh, is like A, B, C, and then one, two, three, so B1. C5, A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five. B6, A, B, one, two, three, four, five, six. E1, A, B, C, D, E, one. Okay, just reset. I have eight numbers and I can only enter them in groups of four before it resets. Spent some time in the puzzle. Couldn't make any progress. I think I missed something back here, though. Didn't realize you could mess around with those boxes. I think this is just another puzzle box and has nothing to do with the other puzzle that I was trying to mess with. Wait, I think I just did it. That only took me like 30 seconds. Congratulations on finding the third puzzle box, kids. Excuse the dust in the attic. I have explicitly forbidden every kind of cleaning up here since the servants broke one of my inventions. There are valuable things up here. Miss Nelly calls it my graveyard, but she's wrong. I'm especially proud of my device for simulating earthquakes. Miss Nelly doesn't allow me to use it for some reason. Can't imagine why. Everybody loves a good earthquake. I think I need to use the hint system on this one. I feel like I have all the pieces, but I just don't understand how to put them together. The small machine in the middle of the room seems to project something on the wall. Okay, yeah, got that. There's a pattern on the top of the safe. Have I seen those patterns somewhere else? Yes, I've gotten that. Four buttons can be pressed on the safe. They're connected to four of the images that the machine projects. Connected to four... Oh... Oh, I think I get it now. Okay, uh, let's go back out to this. Let me just erase all this crap. <laughs> right, I can only press four. The challenge is to figure out which ones actually exist within this image, aren't they? Or, or aren't they? Isn't it? So, like, this centerpiece, this F2, that definitely exists. Let's get rid of all of these. So, yeah, I think this is quite a bit simpler than I thought it was. So this is just like, yeah, that exists. These circles? No. B6? I have no idea. <laughs> this shape definitely exists. That's the whole outside shape. Let me get rid of this one over here and make this one bigger. This square? Yeah, it exists. It's this whole thing. So this one definitely does not exist. This one does. This this one, like, not really. Like, I tried to make it fit by, like, doing this, but you gotta, like, bend after you come out of this and you're going across something that isn't really a line. Like, you gotta kind of fudge it a bit to get there. So that's a no. I mean, we have four ones that are... that do exist, so I guess... B6 is out as well. So yeah, there, I don't think there is an order. I think it's just pressing the correct four ones. So, B1. C5. A, B, C. One, two, three, four, five. F2. F2. And E6. Do, 
Did that work? Did they stay pressed down? Wait. Something went wrong. It's like I only pressed down three. Let me try that again. E6. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what happened before. That is a big key. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to continue to explore this eccentric, strange, dusty attic 